Never let me close your eyes, only got one eye Just put your trust in me, give me everything I need your love tonight, so baby please don't fight it Put your trust in me, I'll give you everything So hold on to me Never let me go, right here in your arms is where I want to be
Hello and welcome to another beautiful night at the Boise State Game Pants Arena. My name is Lisa Jolly Malhas and I will be your host for today. And we have an exciting matchup here for you. One confirmed, potentially one extra to follow that for you. And to discuss all of the action here with me is uh, Michael Fish Fisher. How are you doing tonight? Oh, I'm doing great. Excited for uh, another day of Rocket League. Hopefully we get two matches. More Rocket League is always more fun. But it should be exciting to see how Boise State does. I think they're still in the Swiss ter version of the NACE. So they're trying to just improve their uh, seating for the double for the single elimination tournament to come. So yes. should be exciting. Regular season matchup, I guess, is, is what you would call that for this portion of NACE being the National Association of Collegiate Esports. Uh, and, and we've got a few schools that are both familiar with NACE and unfamiliar with NACE here. We will be starting out today with Dickinson State for Rocket League. And I believe this is just going to be a best of three match. So much shorter than we are used to with the standard best of seven that we normally run here. Uh, I'm sure the Boise State members appreciate that. It's a little bit uh, a little bit less risk if they end up falling behind early, but all the more risk if they themselves fall by, are, are in the same position. Yeah, I, I, I do think uh, it is very uh, critical for Boise State. Both of these teams are undefeated. Uh, this actually might be a best of five. There's been a couple changes here, so we'll have to see what's going on. We did play a best of five last week when we played in the NACE, so we'll have to see what's going to happen here. But both, both teams are undefeated. Boise State, of course, won both their games on Monday, so it should be a lot of fun. This is when, even though it is still the regular season, you're playing the best teams. These might be teams you're going to see later on in the tournament. These are teams you're fighting for very impactful full seeds so for so for boys they every single game counts and the sooner you can get the series over with the better and it is nice because Boise State, uh, we had a few streams, scrims, all of that beforehand. So Boise State has had the chance to get a little bit of practice in. Some of these teams might be in a position where they have not had that opportunity. And there we can see Boise State Esports against Dickinson Esports here should be starting relatively soon. And then we have Overwatch to follow that as well. Uh, and, and normally we've got a, a third person joining us on desk. So we're just going to be going nonstop here tonight. I think that's the way that we do it best. Yeah. I I think, you know, uh, Overwatch, I might say there's a couple goals that happen. It's going to be crazy, but a jam-packed event tonight here at the Game Pants Arena as we are going to hop in the game here against Dickinson State. We're going to see Ace Pocket put a touchdown in the left corner there, trying to set something up for Boise State. He is going to get an eliminate on Ogato there. Cosmo Buster going to stop the offense there from Dickinson State, the Blue Hawks. Going to take a shot on goal by Ace Pocket, but Kim Chi 3 is going to stop that. So Boise State on the early aggression here. Cosmo Buster it's a shot over the middle, but he is going to pass. Actually, a whiff there by Dickinson State. Cosmo Buster getting some boost, though. Wasn't able to capitalize. Ace Pocket going to go chase that ball down in the corner there. LC Coro going to get the save. Bump it over to Ace Pocket, who sets it up for LC Coro. Couldn't quite get it there, though. He's going to take the boost, try and set something up with his teammates off the wall. Actually, he's going to go for the shot. Actually going to be denied by Best there. So once again, Boise State unable to capitalize on a great shot. Ace Pocket, once again, Best is going to take a shot, but we are getting some lag. It looks like a quick pocket loss there, but nothing too crazy. Boise State stays on the aggression. Cosmo Buster sets it up in the mid once again, but Ogato is able to take it away. LC Coro answers him in the mid there. Boise State trying to get down. A bad touch by Dickinson State. Stops the balls for momentum. LC Coro now on a 2v1. Shoots it up to Cosmo Buster right into Vest. Another save already. That's three in the first two minutes for him. Boise State just not able to get that first goal here. LC Coro both him and another man miss. Ace Pocket trying to get a relay. Ace Cato breaks up the dribble there. He's going to take it on. It's a touch by himself. It's a 1v3. Takes a shot. Cosmo Buster is able to stop that though. A shot goes wide for Dickinson State. State. Now LC Coro going to try and take it up. Ace Pocket waiting for a center there. Bad centering pass. Ogato is going to take advantage of that. Push it to the corner there. Nobody able to get it on either team, but Ogato immediately interrupts Ace Pocket's dribble. Boise State now. Cosmo Buster runs into Ace Pocket. Bit of miscommunication there. Two Broncos going for the ball. Shot on goal here. Ace Pocket just able to get to it and uh, take away that shot from Beth. Both offense and defense for him early. Ogato and Cosmo Buster go for the goal. Cosmo Buster gets the elimination, but not able to push it into the goal. LC Coro going to go try and go for the centering. Pops over K. He knocks him out of the way but a shot by Ace Pocket just hits it. Cosmo Buster finishes up for the first Boise State goal. You can only prevent that so many times. Boise State was relentless from the very beginning of that. And the majority of the play so far in these two minutes has been on the offensive side for Boise State. So they're feeling pretty comfortable here. We can actually see Cosmo Buster in a different vehicle 
Uh, have to talk to him about that one because they do normally stick with what they enjoy. Zazzla, I know, is one of those players, oh, that enjoys swapping around. LC Coro getting a great shot on goal there. And Boise State does have full domination over this field right now. Cosmo Buster with a shot on goal is going to be turned away. Still very close to Dickinson's goal, though. They're going to have to clear this one out to allow Boise State, to not allow Boise State to get it in because they are going hard right now. And almost a setup by Beavis for Cosmo Buster. And it was actually Beavis trying to get that out of there. He had no boost to follow it up, though, and ended up setting up that goal for Cosmo Buster. Three members in the goal or in the, the box is not enough to prevent Boise State from getting goal number two. No, not at all. Unfortunately for Dickinson State, there just a so poor setup. Cosmo Buster off the start's gonna score immediately. Nobody for Dickinson State was ready. Cosmo Buster just takes the first touch. Might have played it off. No, he did. He just everybody whiffed. Great goal by well, Cosmo. Buster. And he actually ended up turning at the perfect time because had that been a, a nanosecond too soon or too late. He would have been hit by B. Vest there, who does end up kind of winning this 50-50. And it's now set up on Boise State's defensive side. Cosmo Buster going to try to clear this one out and around the corner. But Dickinson State is now finding their aggressive side as they keep it on Boise State's defensive side. LC Coro going to get a demo there on B. Vest. We see Ace Pocket now dribbling it up, setting up a touch for LC Coro. He is going to center it, but Ogato is there with the save. So Boise State can't get the fourth goal here. Cosmo Buster going to play it off the wall, just pushes it away. Runs into LC Coro there, two Broncos. Broncos going for the ball. B Vest setting up something there for Ogato, but Ace Pocket is able to answer. Boise State trying to defend off a of Dickinson State late push here. We're going to see Cosmo Buster push that all along the wall. Ogato is going to nail it in on a shot on goal. LC Coro, though, able to dribble that away. Gets taken up by B Vest, though, but there is no member of Dickinson State there able to capitalize. <laughs> Ace Pocket going to push it up to LC Coro. Ball gets centered. Cosmo Buster going to take another shot on goal. Little off, but B Vest is able to get it. Misplay there. Ogato is able to stop it. Cosmo Buster takes the boost and goes away. So Boise State up 3-0. That was a sneaky little play there. As we saw Ogoat, I think it's Goat. Ogoat, oh. Uh, carry that one over to Boise State's defensive side. El Coro now is trying to save this ace pocket, going to be awarded with a save. Goat with that shot on goal. Boise State trying to clear this one because they dominate when they are on the offensive side here. The Vest getting a little bit of a poke from ace pocket as he lines himself up for this defensive play. And a great move by ace pocket is going to allow Goat to actually make a shot there with LC Coro, luckily in the wings, ready to protect the goal. Cosmo Buster going to disrupt that. Going to get a centering on to LC Coro. He's going to score a perfect setup by Boise State. Capitalizes on the Dickinson State aggression. Nobody back there. And LC Coro just takes a ripper from about midfield right into the goal. Still one minute and two seconds left for Dickinson. To, I'm sure they want to at least get something on the board. If not, they still have the potential with some crazy plays to tie this one up. We've seen more insane games here at the Game Pants Arena. Now one minute, Boise State already setting that ball back over to Dickinson's side of the field. And Ace Pocket tried to line and follow that one up, but couldn't really make anything of the play. He's going to back off, regain some boost, and send LC Coro and uh, Cosmo Buster over to the front end of the field. And now Ace Pocket is the only defender here. He will be able to be joined by LC Coro, and Cosmo Buster managed to keep the ball away from the goal. A great move there by Goat. He's going to send it over to Boise State's goal, but the defense is very strong with these guys as LC Coro tries to line this one up for somebody to follow. No one there, and Dickinson did manage to reach the ball before Boise State, but they just need to maintain this. They don't even need another goal. They are always hunting for more, and maybe they'll get one. No, that shot does get pushed away by B-Vest. Boise State just trying to hold on here, but the best defense is a great offense. Now just eight seconds left. The Broncos up 4 nothing here in game one. We are going to see Ace Pocket knocked off. LC Coro going to be dribbling the ball around. He's just going to launch it downfield, trying to get that ball to hit the ground here. He's actually going to help keep it in the air there for Cosmo Buster. Boise State trying to get a little too greedy. They know, of course, you can't score four goals in zero seconds, so they are safe here. Trying to get a fifth no, goal in, and they are! They Boise State! That. For, I mean, we can't tell how many seconds because it doesn't at least go 20. negative. That was at least that, 20. I mean, I'm going to say at least 10. At least 10 for sure. That was absolutely absurd. Dickinson doing everything that they could to get that ball to hit the ground because once you hit zero seconds, they do allow the play to actually finish, and that requirement is that the ball hits the ground. So Boise State... Uh, certainly certainly not overconfident. That's they, they knew that they could get away with it. They knew they couldn't be scored on in that time. You 
might as well. <laughs> yeah, I might as well show it off. I mean, you could always say you're just practicing. You never know when that scenario could come up. Here we are going to see a replay here of the first Boise State goal. Great job by LC Coro to knock the goalie away. Ace Pocket takes a shot. Cosmo Buster comes in as the two members of Dickinson State had committed on the first shot. Way to go, Boise State, taking the early lead. That play was the epitome of teamwork right there. Every single member participating in that goal. And here, I think, uh, no, that is a different one, actually. Cosmo getting the first three goals of that. I know at that point he had five shots, two assists on top of it, and then Elsie Coro was the other one to make that final shot there. And Ace Pocket, on the other hand, seems to be our MVP of the defensive side. He had two solid saves. There was a great one. It, it actually dribbled kind of in between, uh, pinballed in between the three members there of Dickinson. A little bit of grouping from them. Uh, it's hard to come back or to try to combat the Boise State team, though. You really have to get into this mentality of you are better than them, and you can't really do that when they're as good as they are. Yeah, I mean, that was just Boise State showing them up a couple of just insane goals there. We saw one there. Dickinson State did sort of have a misplay there. Ogato or Ogoat, whatever we want to call him here. He just Goat. sort of tried and dribbled it back, didn't have any boost here. As we're actually going to jump into the second game, Boise State took the first one five to nothing as we see Cosmo Buster down here. B-Vest is going to be able to push that away here. Now LC Coral taps it back into the mid, a setup here, but Goat is able to push it away. Ace Pocket not quite able to get there. Now Dickinson State lining up for the shot, but not able to get there. Ace Pocket is going to take that away. It's centered for himself. He's not even going to set it up for LC Coral. He's going to shoot it up, but B-Vest able to get there. LC Coral able to stop the ball from getting away, but now it's centered. There's nobody there, but there's no Bronco there, unfortunately, as well. Goat is able to sneak that one through his own goal. Cosmo Buster able to answer his dribble, though. Challenge him once again, center the ball. Dickinson State able to sort of stop the ball, but LC Coro beats B Vest to the ball. Another insane play. Ace Pocket can take the shot a little wide. LC Coro knocks it up in the air. Now we're going to see Cosmo Buster going in for the shot. That one looks like it's going to be just a little bit too slow. It is. B Vest is able to get there. Ace Pocket, though, not able to stop the ball. This is such impressive defensive play. And there we go. Actually, that was a defensive move to just try to clear the ball and prevent LC Coro from getting a goal. And he's able to follow it up midair, prevent Ace Pocket from interfering whatsoever all the way across the entire field. Dickinson definitely showing that they are here for a reason this is an official tournament and they want to give it their best shot so not only are they playing incredibly well defensively but they're able to follow it up with an offensive play as we just saw there so Boise State able to take the boost from that corner away from Dickinson State member who was attempting to get it before there and Boise State now is a, a little bit on their heels just a bit of a back and forth as it stalls in the middle of the field just over or just under four minutes now left on the clock. Boise State is able to get the push there. Ace Pocket's going to touch it in, but Goat not quite able to get there. Cosmo Buster had the setup, but a great rebound there by Dickinson State to save the goal from potentially going in there. Now it's going to be in the center. We're going to see Elsie Coral take a shot. That is going to go left there. Dickinson State able to answer a little bit and take the boost away from Elsie Coral. Cosmo Buster able to stop the momentum of the ball there. Push it over to Ace Pocket there in the right hand side for Boise State. Ace Pocket going to push it up towards the middle. Cosmo Buster going to touch it as well. Down to Goat and his teammate waiting there. He's going to push a shot in. Cosmo Buster immediately touches it. Going to try and get it around. Goat. That is a centering pass up in the air there. B-Vest is going to get it, though. No Bronco was able to get there. Ace Pocket misses the ball off the wall. LC Coral going to center it again, though. Take a shot downfield by Goat. Sets it up for his teammate, but Cosmo Buster able to get there. Now he's going to try and push it downfield. Not able to get it, but LC Coral will push it back, and it's going to be back to the center as Boise State is going to go back to regroup. And, and this is a game, guys. We normally see a lot of back and forth, but not quite this uncontrolled in, in a controlled manner. It's erratic. It appears erratic, but all of these players know exactly what they're doing and how they're they're trying to avoid getting a goal on themselves and then sending it over to the offensive side. Now it's going to slow down here. LC Coral without any boost, trying to move it out of the way and go with a shot that Ace Pocket manages to save there. A couple members of Boise State. Now LC Coral getting the full boost, trying to line up and ends up getting demoed there by K Meshki. Three, we'll call you K Mesh. Boise State able to answer that Cosmo Buster and Goat run right into each other. Goat did take the boost, so I think Cosmo Buster is out. LC Coro does beat B-Vest to the ball. That's going to go up to the center. Kim she is going to try and just push it away. He is able to get there. Ace Pocket and Goat run into each other again. Goat winning this one again, but LC Coro back on defense. Knocks it up over Goat. It is going to be centered here for B-Vest. He doesn't get quite a great shot on the ball. Cosmo Buster might have disrupted that. Ace Pocket going to shoot it down to Cosmo Buster. Hits it into the corner. B-Vest and Goat are not going to miss, but Kim she 3 is going to get it. So Boise State once again immediately on the defense. Ace Pocket has to get back with no boost. LC Coral able to dribble it over one guy. Goat is able to stop it, though. We see B-Vest flying in. Kim Shee 3 and LC Coral run into each other. Now it's a one-on-one, -on -one, but LC Coral didn't have any boost. Now he's going to go up. Terrence under the ball. A little high here. El Cosmo Buster going to take the shot. Actually goes low and gets the goal for Boise State, the equalizer here. 
The equalizer it is with one minute, 42 seconds left on the clock. And if uh, if we weren't expecting much from Dickinson State based on the last round, you better change your mind right now if you haven't already because they are really showing that they come in for the later rounds. The 50-50 is not really going to go in favor of anyone here, but LC Coro does manage to bump it over b Vest there. It's interesting because it seems like the Dickinson team is moving as a group, which normally doesn't work. You have to have this rotation, but the whole group rotates as one. And there is a great shot. LC Coro setting that one up around the corner, and Cosmo Buster flying in to, uh, I mean, unequalize, I yeah. suppose. Cosmo Buster there taking the fourth goal for himself so far in these one and a half, I guess one and a little more than half rounds. Boise State does have that first round. As we can see, an ace pocket trying to get uh, a play off that 50-50. Elsie -50. Coro trying to line it up. Does go a little bit higher than the crossbar there. And Cosmo Buster flying in to try to make a play. Not enough, but ace pocket doing the same thing. And Dickinson, this rotation of defensemen, is absolutely absurd. They also manage to have boost when Boise State members don't at times. And it seems impressive because they have been all over the map. And Elsie Coro is set up for a defensive play here. Boise State now just trying to keep keep the game where it's at, just stall it out. There was an offensive move by LC Coro. Dickinson not gonna let it through, but Ace Pocket is going to secure that one with the help of Cosmo Buster. Boise State just capitalizing on the Dickinson State aggression. Nobody back, Goat has his feet flat-footed, not able to get it, 3-1 Boise State. Very close though, Dickinson almost had that save. Boise State now up 3-1 in game two. They took game one. Ace Pocket and Kipshi 3 going to meet on there. LC Coral going to knock it up. Immediately uses the boost trying to fix that and not center it for Dickinson State. Right over to Ace Pocket. He's going to try and push it down. Answered by Kipshi 3. Going to push it down into the corner, but Cosmo Buster is there. b -Best is going to beat him with the ball. Take a shot. And Dickinson State, all of a sudden, we have ourselves a game. Boise State just used all of their boost to try to realign the ball right after that 50-50. Dickinson absolutely taking advantage of that. b -Best now going to get one for for himself, and that's going to be, uh, I think, a goal almost for each of these players, Dickinson State. Now be best and go in taking one. So now we got to see K-Mesh show up here and sink one to tie it up for Dickinson State. Otherwise, Boise State will have that. Now it's going to be even harder because with 31 seconds on the clock, Boise State is up 4-2 to two here as Ace Pocket nails this one in. Yeah, that was just a clean goal for Ace Pocket. Kim Shee had missed, gone for boost, and Boise State takes the 4-2 lead. Now we're going to see Boise State try and hold on here for the last 30 seconds. They have gotten a late goal after Dickinson State made it close. We are going to see Goat get the first touch. Cosmo Buster puts it back. Ace Pocket is going to push it down. b is going to be forced to chase after the ball. This is where Dickinson State has had a lot of problems. Sort of not sure what they're going to do here. LC Coro is going to get a centering pass. Ace Pocket disrupts the dribble of Dickinson State. Cosmo Booster going to push it down into the corner again. Almost trying to take a shot by himself. It was a little high. Kim Shee is able to push that away. LC Coro stops his dribble, though. He's going to pass it over to Ace Pocket. Just playing keep away there, making sure Goat can't get a good touch. b able to stop that Ace Pocket. Dribble though, push the ball up into the air. Cosmo Booster is going to put it right in front of the goal. We're in overtime. Ace Pocket going to try and get the shot. It's not going to be good. Ball touches the ground. Boise State takes game two, four to two. And I think we saw up there it is. It is a obviously there's a best of five. As we have another round, at least one more round. And if Dickinson can prove themselves here, then they will absolutely be able to push this out to even more than that. Joshua Nichols, the, the director of the eSports program there for Dickinson, uh, or at least, you know, the Rocket League portion, we are seeing some, some nice faces show up here at the arena. If you want to come on down to the Game Pants Arena here at 301 South Capitol Boulevard, we always love to have friendly faces. Plus, it certainly helps the players when they have fans cheering them on here, and they hear every second of it, that's for sure. Oh, yeah, you can never go wrong with a great home field advantage there. Great job by Boise State to take the first two games against Dickinson State. A first one, a 5-0 beatdown. The second one, a little bit harder, 4-2 Boise State, as we are going to head into game three here shortly. So they just need one more. You just got to avoid being too overconfident here. Every video game you've ever played on a competitive level, you know what a reverse sweep is. You <laughs> never want to have that happen to you. So for Boise State... It's the season. Yeah, exactly. It's, it's been so, a lot of that. So you want to make sure that you avoid that. You want to know b -Vest, who's been really their, one of their best defenders. He has the most shots as well. He was a season one grand champion. He's been playing this game since its inception. So, sorry, season 11, I should say. So you know he has a lot of talent. So for Boise State, 
You just want to have the early lead and be able to hold on to it here. So we're going to jump into game three. Best of five. Boise State up two to nothing. We're going to see LC Coral dribble along the wrong there. Goat going to go away. Kim Chi will save that ball. Center it up there for Kazo Buster. Going to take a shot, push it over to Ace Pocket here. He's going to put a centering shot on goal. Nobody there for Boise State is the goalie for Dickinson State. Missed. LC Coral going again once going to center it, but B-Vest is right there. Kazo Buster beats him to the ball, though, but his shot hits both posts, unfortunately. Not much you can do there if you're Boise State. They're going to keep on the aggressive here, though, but Goat is going to take the ball away. He's going to dribble it down. His dribble is disrupted. I believe that was by Cosmo Buster. LC Coro going to answer that as well. He's going to center the ball. Dangerous centering pass. b -Vest takes a shot. Little high. Ace pocket runs into two members of Dickinson State. Now it's a two-on-one for Boise State. Just don't run into each other. And Cosmo <laughs> Buster takes it into the goal. Cosmo Buster really taking that one, actually. LC Coro definitely had it. Cosmo's like, yike, that's mine. So you can see there, he just had the extra boost, so actually uh, reclaimed the dribbling on that one, making it easier for Elsie Corey. He was able to just peel away and kind of realign himself in case, for some crazy reason, some member of Dickinson did manage to save that one. Again, the 50-50 really not going in anyone's favor here as Elsie Corey is going to try to make a ceiling play, a miss by one of those Dickinson State players. Ace Pocket lining up a shot, and K-Mesh is going to be the savior on that play. Elsie Corey has a lot of boost, but not quite in a position to do anything with it. Actually jumps over b -Vest there to grab that corner boost and line himself up now for another offensive play as Dickinson is just unrelenting when it comes to rotating around this goal. It's almost like they're vultures just trying to prevent Boise State from getting anywhere close. Boise State does have the first goal. They know they just need to really hold on to that lead, but that's never how you want to play Rocket League. Elsie Coro going to push it forward, dribbles it away from Dickinson State. Now Cosmo Buster has a one-on-one. -on -one. He is able to beat b -Vest to the ball, but it's a little high. K-Mesh misses on the ball. Ace Pocket, though, is going to go wide. We are going to see Elsie Coro coming in. He's going to take the goal as Dickinson State. Sometimes defense has been their issue. If one can't do it and then two can't do it, three is going to be able to do it here for Boise State as we saw LC Coro able to follow up those missed plays, barely missed by Cosmo Buster and Ace Pocket, and you're right, the, the defense in that previous round was almost immaculate. It was incredible how well that group was rotating as a team, but now that rotation needs to adjust a little bit, and they do need to start doing the standard three-man, you know, one in the defense and two on offense, unless it is a defensive play there. That might help Dickinson out and prevent this from being the last round of the game, as it is a best of three, and Boise State currently have two over Dickinson. Boise State just trying to hold on. We're going to see O'Goat, I should say, go wide here. B-Vest going to take a shot on goal. That's going to be answered by Ace Pocket. LC Coro and K-Mesh going to go for the ball. LC Coro barely touches the ball, but does get the elimination now. We're going to see Cosmo Buster top it down to LC Coro. He's going to take a shot on goal. Goat is able to stop it as we see Ace Pocket going in there. So now it is a three on two for Boise State. Cosmo Buster able to slow that just a little bit. He gets demoed by B-Vest, though. Now the Broncos in a very advantageous situation as we are going to see Cosmo Buster respawn. Luckily, right next to the ball. Goat is going to center it, though, for B-Vest. He's going to take the shot. And Dickinson State now only down one. Boise State just caught on their heels. Ace pocket in the goal, and Cosmo Buster had just respawned. Dickinson able to take advantage as well as that bit of mayhem that was going on. Boise State doing such a good job of trying to rally that ball anywhere other than their goal box. And as soon as it broke away, Dickinson took advantage of that. So a great play, 240 still on the clock. And once more, these 50-50s are not going in favor of anyone, which makes it really anyone's game at each of these starts. And Boise State now almost had a scary play as Beavest did get a shot on goal there, saved by LC Coro. Another member, they're trying it to follow it up. A Cosmo Buster used is all of his boost to push that ball away and B-Vest instantly is able to snag that right from underneath him and put it back to Boise State's defensive side. Ace Pocket and Goat go for the ball. Goat wins that, but Cosmo Buster able to take it away there. Pushes it down to Ace Pocket, but K-Mesh is able to get the ball. Ace Pocket got to go for him. Actually going to get a centering here. B-Vest gets the ball away, though. He is going to get a demo, though. Ace Pocket will, so now sort of on their heels there. Cosmo Buster going to take a shot, and he's going to get it as Boise State capitalizes on the demo there by Ace Pocket. That angle, though, as we see Cosmo Buster, he's got that wide car, and he can really direct that ball anywhere he wants and manages to get it to the right of every single member there, including the one that was centered at that goal box. Uh, Cosmo Buster now going to take his second one for the game. That puts Boise State up two minutes still left on the clock. Dickinson has more than a chance here. They can just find another play like they did and keep that ball on Boise State's defensive side. They do have weak spots. Ace Pocket going to be accredited with a shot on goal there as it rolls up and alongside in front of the goal there. 
Ooh, B-Best missing that, and uh, actually k Mench did as well, and Ace Pocket just wasn't able to turn it around quick enough. LC Coro stopping that ball dead. b getting bumped out of the way there by Ace Pocket, and now they are attempting a lineup as Dickinson ends up actually shoving the ball back to the, their defensive side. b luckily, is in the wings there for a save, and it looks like Dickinson might be able to reclaim this and get it back to Boise State's side if they can get any boost whatsoever. Boise State just taking all the boosts. We're going to see Ace Pocket. He's going to go a little bit high on that shot, but LC, or Cosmo Buster is able to push it in. Goat gets the save here. Now Dickinson State going down. b going to take a shot on an open Boise State goal, but LC Coral out of nowhere, the only Bronco who could make that save. He does do that. Cosmo Buster going to push it down to Ace Pocket. A perfect setup as nobody's back for Dickinson State. Four to one Broncos. And now Ace Pocket giving himself three goals for these few rounds. Same with LC Cora. Cosmo Buster, I think, is sitting at close to six, five or six goals there overall. So not a single member really of Boise State. Co uh, not a single, not a single uh, Boise State member not showing up here tonight. And Dickinson State uh, doing a solid job as we now take a quick look at the last minute. This is a replay of the last game. No, first game. No, this, this is, is, this is this the is end of the first game. This is the end of the first game. Yeah. It, it feels like we're in the same spot. This it's is game three. It's the, the, the top that, that throws me yeah, off. This is the end of the game three. Boise State is up 4-1 to one with 40 seconds left here. Just trying to hold on. LC Coro is going to demo Goat. So now he has the advantage. Pushes it away from K-Mesh. Going to get a centering pass there for Cosmo Buster. That one is going to go high. LC Coro not able to answer. But here comes Ace Pocket. That's going to go high as well. Unfortunately, Dickinson A State able to get back. LC Coro is going to push that one up again. Boise State trying to remain on the offensive. K-Mesh able to center that ball for Ace Pocket. And that's going to be a goal. Unfortunately, Unfortunately, K-Mesh really is the one who deserved that assist. <laughs> he really does, and uh, it's not going to accredit it for him, but the replay will, that's for sure. A perfect lineup, and nobody else there really from Dickinson that that would have been a pass to. Directly in front of your goal is not somewhere you want the ball to be. No, Boise State is taking all the boost here from Dickinson State. Up 5-1 here in the closing seconds of Game 3 of this series. Boise State up 2-0, so just 10 seconds away from taking this. Cosmo Buster going to set up ace pocket. The Broncos won another goal. We saw that in Game 1 with them scoring well into overtime. They're going to set something up here, but now Dickinson State on the aggressive. b going to knock it. Cosmo Buster disrupts that shot. Ace pocket got to go up as well. They're going to keep it in overtime. Why not? Goat is going to miss the ball. LC Coro does keep it alive. Now it looks like Dickinson State has two guys go for the ball there. Miscommunication. Cosmo Buster able to beat Goat to the ball. Going to push it down to Ace Pocket, but LC Coro actually didn't see he was there. Disrupted it. Kim Sh K Mesh is going to push it there. Ace Pocket actually coming out of the Dickinson State goal. Sort of disrupted that, but LC Coro is going to score at the very end. 6-1 to one Broncos. That's just rude. Yeah, that two is. times. Ace two Pocket times. even tried to play defense for him, and it didn't work. <laughs> He did. Uh, it sounds like uh, Coach, Coach Haskell's not happy. He's going to make them run laps. He's a. Uh, I, I mean, not that it's not that it's BMing, but I, it's like it's like popping that emote off. It, it's like it's like flexing a little bit for sure. Uh, it is still impressive. That's for sure. Uh, and I mean, if you if you want to say anything, Dickinson State, I know you never want to concede, but you could have put the ball down. You know the situation you're in. You can't blame Boise State. Right. Both teams kept the ball alive. You can't blame LC Coro, yep. even when Ace Pocket tried to play defense on him. It's already so in their favor. It was a 2v4. Yeah. If, if you scored a 2v4, as we see Ace Pocket push that away here in the replay, there's not much you could do. So Boise State <laughs> able to take this one from Dickinson State. What a beautiful State. flip, though, to actually secure that final goal and uh, officially end the game by LC Coro using the top of his vehicle to, to ensure that the ball ended up going in. And Boise State really given no leeway that second round. Dickinson was really showing that they had what it took to play up against Boise State here, but they just could not secure it. And Boise State found every weakness they could put their pressure upon, uh, put the pressure on, and they took advantage of it there. Thank you, Dickinson Esports, for playing. That was uh, a very wonderful match. And normally we do the best of seven, but as this is the NACE tournament, for at least the standard season, it is best of five. I believe it does end up going to a best of seven series once we get later down the line uh, into the, the higher seeding. Uh, and I was just, just told I'm right. So it happens every so often. <laughs> uh, and, and we are going to see, I'm not sure if we are doing a secondary Rocket League match. There is the potential for that right now, or at least it was before the broadcast began. And uh, the more Rocket League, the better, like yeah, you course, said. So course. obviously, if we can get another this other school to, uh, to lock in and play with us, we, we, we'll play anybody. Yeah, exactly. We'll play everybody who is willing to jump in on this, for sure. Yeah, Boise State uh, able to uh, take advantage of that. This was in the NACE tournament. They're able to beat Dickinson State. I really think that whole series showed the mantra that 
the best defense is a great offense. Boise State was able to just put relenting pressure on Dickinson State. They had great rotations early, but when you're being pressured for two, three minutes, never able to get a shot off, something's going to fall apart. That just happens to every team. Someone's going to make a bad rotation. A boost is going to get stolen by the offensive team, which Boise State did time and time again. So for Boise State, living on the offensive edge, we saw a couple times they did get caught with a couple half-court goals from Dickinson State, but for Boise State, staying on the aggressive, making the Dickinson State play flat-footed from the goal. It's so hard to stop a shot when you're flat-footed with limited boost. Good job by Boise State staying on the aggressive the whole game. And it's that style of play, too, of knowing how good you are and being able to keep the pressure on. And it was a really good response there from Dickinson. The few times that Boise State kind of made a hiccup, they took advantage of it, and they were able to send a goal in. They were able to make a great offensive play or prevent a goal from going in from Boise State there. So definitely a great competition between the two of these schools, and hopefully Dickinson does make it a little bit uh, further down in into this tournament as we love to see the the returns of these teams. Yes, uh, good job there by Boise State. As we're getting some mm. stream uh, questions. Yeah. So people are asking how we can stream this. There's some sort of confusion there. Ah, okay. Yes. All right, I see. Okay, so CRL recently changed their rules, and yep. they now have it that there is no spectating on any of the CRL games. And CRL is actually being played tonight by our teams, but not on this broadcast. This is the NACE broadcast, the National Association of Collegiate Esports. So sorry, the, sorry for the, the brief pause there as we were getting some information just to clarify to some people that might be watching and a little bit curious as to, mm -hmm. hey, how are, how, yeah, are, how are we watching how this? How are you able to broadcast this? Is this illegal? No, we it's not that we are not breaking any rules. We are going to be following the CRL yes. rules in that it, things can be streamed for CRL, but it has to be from the perspective of one of those players. It can't be a spectated game there. Uh, so, you know, we might end up doing that in the future. Obviously, no broadcasting over that, but we love Rocket League. Of course. You guys love Rocket League. We love to share Rocket League with you. Uh, but for the NACE, it will be all streamed here, all broadcasted officially for the Boise State uh, teams and for or on the Game Pants Arena here in Boise. Yes, yeah, so Boise State able to take that one as we're going to get a sort of look. We almost that's had a look of what was coming up here this week. It was week. a sneak peek. It was that's a sneak peek what of what's was. coming up today and tomorrow. I think we have some games other than Rocket League, but this is about Rocket League right now in the NACE. Boise State able to bake down Dickinson State. We are awaiting word if we'll get a second match of the night for Boise State in the NACE, not in the CRL. There will not be a second match tonight. I've just been told that in my <laughs> ear, unfortunately. So three games of Rocket League is all we're going to get tonight in the NACE. Good job by Boise State. How many goals did they get scored? Boise State, I think it ended up being, what is it, t t probably 14, 14 oh goals, I think, in th in three. And that was spread across all three players here for Boise State. Not a single one really taking everything for themselves. Cosmo Buster always shining as he does. Uh, it's, it's that smile, you yes. know. It, it, comes, it, it goes uh, with him in his gameplay as well. So now we can take a look at what is to come here in the next little bit. Boise State is going to be taking on Mizzou. And this is the Gridiron Rivals tonight. So Boise State going to be taking on a, a very strong team and a very strong esports program in general. Already the players jumping into games. So that actually will we'll probably, we might not even be taking a break in between these. That's <laughs> <laughs> we might be jumping straight over to Overwatch. And I'm, I'm being told I'm wrong again. Uh, we, are, we are going to be taking a quick break since those were some pretty quick games of Rocket League. Unfortunately, no follow-up for that tonight. But there is going to be Overwatch here coming very, very soon. So stay tuned. We will be returning to the broadcast here at the Game Pants Arena at 7 p.m. Mountain Time. <laughs> 